So welcome back all you beautiful patriots out there. It's your boy Tyrone, Mr. Conservative. And yeah, patriots, I'm back at you guys with a somewhat quick video. So please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff from you guys. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And first of all, I want to apologize to all of you guys. Did you guys see the little video I put out with the duck ride, you guys? So that was me uh, and the family, you guys. We went on vacation to Wisconsin Dales, you guys. It was time to spend some time with the family, okay? I work a lot. I got I got construction started on the basement. I'm doing the YouTube. I'm working the two jobs. So I was like, hey, you know what? It's time to take a vacation. It's time to take the kids. You know, we we'll go out to the Dales. We'll have a good time. So that was the kids' first time on a duck ride, you guys. Um, yeah. Speaking of family and speaking about kids, let's jump on to Joe Biden, you guys, okay? Now, his own family members, you guys, his own family members, right? His own kids, right? They're calling him pedo people. Peter, pedo freaking Peter, pedo Peter. Well, see, we already knew he was a chomo. We already knew he was a pedophile. We already knew he was Chester the molester. We already knew that. We knew that because look, you can just see how his eyes just widen up. You know what I mean? When you see a little kid, right? He want to go over there. He want to sniff the hair. He want to rub on him. He want to stroke on him. He want to kiss on him. He want to do all kind of weird, creepy things. Like we already knew he was a, he was a molester. We already knew that. We already knew he was a pedophile. We already knew he was creepy, creepy Joe, right? We already already knew that but to the crazy lefty loonies to all the democrats out there who was like no 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 tyrone that's fake news that's fake news well hey his own family coming out and admitting that hey he's pedo peter i mean why would they call him pedo peter if he didn't have i mean clearly pedo peter what, 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 what more do you want, you crazy lefty loonies? I mean, look, you see him touching on kids. You see him snipping hair. You see him doing all kind of creepy stuff. And now his own family. Well, well, look at his son. Look at his freaking son. Look at Hunter, man. Hunter's creepy. Look look at the stuff Hunter be doing. He's snorting all kind of cocaine, doing crack, uh, you know, underage girls, uh, it, taking photos and all kind of creepy stuff. The whole family's messed up, you guys. The whole family's corrupt, you guys. Real talk. But this is a man that you crazy lefty loonies elected into office. This is the man that you crazy lefty loonies won in office. Instead of having a great economy, you guys, instead of having this country great, all right, you guys chose this liptard, this Chester the molester, this pedophile, right, this chomo over Donald Trump. What was wrong with Donald Trump? Donald Trump was an asshole. I get it. The way he talks, the way he, you know, I mean, but hey, that's the way he is. I, I mean, people like to call me an asshole because the way I talk. And pardon my French, pardon my French to all you beautiful patriots out there. Sorry, sorry for the, the, the foul words, okay? But yeah, people say, hey, Tyrone, you're an asshole. You're, you're, you're a walking, talking Viagra commercial. You know what I mean? Like, like you could be a real... Mm. You know, but hey, that's the way I am. You know what I mean? But I, I don't, I don't, I don't sugarcoat it, right? I, I, I don't BS. I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna give it to you straight, right? But instead, you guys got this guy, right? This guy who, which clearly is the chomo, clearly his own family is calling him Pedal Peter, okay? The guy that's destroying our country, you guys, who got us at a record high inflation, got these gas prices sky high, right? Destroying this country who is trying to strip us of our rights, okay? Our rights. Try to force a vaccine on us as well, you guys. But let's jump on to something else I want to talk to you guys about because I can go on and on talking about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and his whole entire crooked family, okay? I can go on talking about all of them, but I'm not going to do that. Let's jump on to um, Indiana, you guys. So there was a mass shooting, right, in Indiana in, in, in the mall. Now, hey, wasn't the police wasn't the police you guys who shot shot the shooter dead it was a armed civilian an armed civilian like me like you you know what i mean who was in there seen something happening and decided to hey i'm gonna pull my firearm because that is what the sec y'all see that second amendment y'all see that second amendment that second amendment is there to protect us you know, all of our God-given rights to protect our freedoms. It's for, it's for protection, okay? And that 22 year old, I believe he's 22, 21, I believe it's 22, you guys. He used his second amendment right to defend everybody in that moment. I believe three people passed away, you guys. Three people passed away. Uh, uh, multiple people was injured in the process. Uh, but this man ended up at the wrong end of the stick. Now he came in. I don't know if he had a handgun, shotgun, but we do know the good Samaritan, the good Samaritan was armed with a handgun. Okay. Yes. He was armed with a handgun. He put about, I think about eight, nine, 10 rounds into him. And that, and that was all she wrote. All she wrote. So all these crazy lefty loonies who were saying, Oh, the second amendment is bad. Guns are bad. And you know, all that mumbo jumbo. I can show you time and time again, where somebody used a firearm to protect yourself and to protect people from other people who have firearms, okay? Now, 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 look, look, you know how the Democrats are going to spend this, right? They're going to be like, oh, another mass shooting, and we need stricter gun laws. Well, hey, you know what? Look, 
Indiana just passed, I believe it was constitutional carry. Constitutional carry means pretty much you can carry your your, your firearm on you. You don't need a license, okay? You don't need a special license. You don't get got to get a concealed carried or open carry license. You ain't got to do none of that, all right? It's your Second Amendment right. If, if you if you pass the background check and all that good stuff and you're able to have the firearm, you can carry it on you. Now, I believe there was a regulation with the mall, like it was a gun-free zone, you know? But hey, that didn't stop that didn't stop that shooter that wanted to come in there and shoot the place up, right? Just because it was a gun-free zone, it didn't stop him. He came in to try to shoot the place up. But another gentleman, another gentleman, young man, salute to him. He's a hero. He All the praise go to him. And, hey, did I say that our prayers need to go out to the family, you guys, the victims, and all and all the ones that also got injured? Our prayers also go out to them as well. You guys keep them in your prayers, okay? Sorry about that. Got to get that out real quick. But, yeah, crazy, you guys. Super crazy, right? So the man defended himself and everybody else. Now, hey. You know, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm trying to tell you guys, these gun laws that they're trying to push down our throat, they don't help, okay? They don't help. They're not going to stop anybody who wants to commit bodily harm. If somebody wants to commit bodily harm, they're going to do it because they're criminals. That's, I mean, that's the definition of a criminal. I have said this time and time and time and time and time again in videos, criminals break laws. So it doesn't matter what laws you put on the books, they're going to continue to break them, okay? But this civilian right here, this civilian who was armed, right, law-abiding citizen, law-abiding citizen, you know, he used every right, every right to defend himself and everybody in that mall. OK, now I, I, the police already came out. They, they, they already commended him as a hero. I don't think he was uh, charged for anything and nothing like that, you guys. But I just want to point out these crazy lefty loonies, these Democrats, while they're shoving gun control down our throat. You guys, this is another example how these laws that they're pushing down our throat, they don't work. OK, they don't work. Well, see, they don't work. OK, now everybody should have the right to defend their self, their loved one, their neighbors, the people around them, okay? And the only way you're going to do that, you guys, the only way you're going to do that is with the Second Amendment, okay? Now, I'm going to end the video like I normally end the video because I don't want to make a super long video for you guys. I just want to make another video. I want to cover those two topics, you guys. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about what we were talking about. Um, let's end the video like I normally end the video with the Let's Make America Great. Whoo, Patriots, y'all see that, that flag, right? With them two rifles. And let's keep America great. That freedom, that Second Amendment, that Second Amendment defends our freedom. And I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.